My next soloist has really nailed the characters. She's proven that in the past. And she doesn't boo-hoo and cry to mommy. She steps up to the challenge. So my second solo goes to... a guest. Jojo with the Bobo from my ultimate dance competition. She has that charisma, she has that energy, she wants it, she's dynamite on stage. Jojo's gonna fire this group up a little bit. So Jojo is gonna be a guest with the Abby Lee Dance Company. She will be filling in for Maddie. Now, Jojo, those are big shoes to fill. I can do it. Maddie is most known for lyrical. So you will be performing a lyrical song. Yay, thank you, Abby. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm here right now. I am super excited. I honestly want Abby to teach me. Abby is a huge personality. You got a question? Do you think I could replace Chloe? If you really want to dance and work hard at your craft, you could replace anybody. Well, anybody but my favorite. So moms, go ahead and go upstairs. Let's get moving on this. Abby's tough. I think that she can really help you, make you, or break you in the dance world. We came here to be permanent members of the ALDC, and we're not leaving until that happens. How old is JoJo? JoJo's 11. So she's Kendall's age. And Maddie's age. And Maddie, Maddie just yeah. turned 12. Do you think JoJo can fill Maddie's shoes, like Abby said? Just remember who she's talking about. It's Maddie. She gave her a solo. Because you know who else has solos this week? Who? I didn't hear. Mackenzie. So JoJo nice. and Mackenzie will go Very nice. head to head. This is the first time this season that Mackenzie has gone against someone like JoJo. So I'm nervous. I have no worries about JoJo's ability to fill anyone's shoes on this team. Including Maddie's. Including Maddie's. Good for you. What you have, JoJo, is wonderful, and they don't have any of it, even her. She's like this high energy, woohoo! Like, she has that certain je ne sais quoi, and she's shining bright. So, I'm gonna have you improv. Let's go, JoJo. Do you see the energy? Do you see the facial expressions? I think JoJo is fabulous. In some ways, to be honest with you, JoJo reminds me of Nia, she's a performer. Personally, I think it's ridiculous that she brought JoJo in. Obviously, she's not a member of the ALDC. Not only is she in a dance, she has a solo. Right. Of course. Why wouldn't she? Because she's not a member of the ALDC. So? Anyone can have a solo. No, I no. think you just picked the right week to be here. I think the other moms are scared to death of JoJo and what JoJo can bring to this team. And I think their girls are going to have to step it up. Do you see how she was trying to sell that song to somebody? Well, and you guys are going to LA, right? Yes. Yes. And JoJo definitely has the LA look. Jess and JoJo come in with a couple big bows on your kid's head, a bottle of peroxide, a couple rhinestones, and you think you know what's going on. I don't know who Jess thinks she is, but she doesn't fit in at the ALDC. This number is a beautiful lyrical piece. The voice is light and frail and angelic. JoJo is strong and hard and devilish. Can she be light and frail and angelic? We'll see. Weren't you supposed to demo pay that leg? Sick on right foot. Look where you are. Did you see where you were on your foot? You're like on the side of your foot like this. Every single step I corrected. It looks like Abby's not happy with lyrical for JoJo. This is day two, and JoJo can't do this lyrical routine. I don't use the word can't very often, but she can't. Would you say you win more with musical theater and jazz than you do with lyrical? I feel like my jazz is probably stronger than my technique. This is just not working. Let's try something different. I think this is stronger and not so little girly. I love that she has a mouth and a brain. Go ahead. 
Is she learning a new solo then? This is a jazz dance. I think Abby's definitely changing her dance and her music, yes. I can't imagine Abby doing that. She's never done that before. Abby would never do it. I found something that I think is much more suitable for JoJo. She is going to do a routine entitled Electricity. It's contemporary, it's strong, she can be fast, she can become the electricity. Turn and slide on a jazz split right back down and roll, keep going, and stand up and round Rousse. Up and turn, turn. Abby must really care about JoJo if she's changing her solo and trying to make it her best. Yeah, that's the reason. Mm -hmm. That's JoJo's specialty. I've already sent the entries in. I entered a lyrical solo to the music One Heart. I'm not gonna show up there and have it be scratched. So I want somebody else to do the lyrical routine intended for Maddie. Hey, Rachel, is Sarah here? Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so why is Sarah coming? Who is this Sarah chick? She's a member of the Abilene Dance Company. I got this, girls. Hey, come on in. Here's the deal. When you correct her, uh -huh. she doesn't apply it. So okay. Sarah is a dancer who has joined the team occasionally and always left on a sour note. Her mother is a complete whack job. Hi, I'm Christy. Nice to meet you, honey. Oh, gang's Hi, all here. Oh. Sarah is doing the lyrical solo that JoJo was supposed to do because JoJo couldn't do it. She is ready for this. I am ready as her mom to step back and let you take control. I am like, what in the hell is this? You don't see this kind of woman in a dance studio. You see her in like a thrift shop, working the hot dog cart at the NASCAR races. I don't know, like, ew. Hi! Hi. I'm back. You're sitting on my phone and my water. So what happened? Why are you here? She's doing a lyrical piece this weekend. The ALDC is going to go to LA with Abby. LA is the place where stars are born. So as far as I'm concerned, we would do everything that it took to be able to go to LA. Why are you even here? What are you doing here We're anyway? just a guest this week. Oh, how nice. It was really nice until you got here. You better get used to it, baby, because this is my studio. You're going to be gone in 24 hours. I have nothing to worry about. As soon as JoJo takes that stage, See you later. Do you do jazz a lot, kids? I do everything. I can do anything. What's your favorite style to compete a solo in? I wish I could do a tap solo because I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm what? A she's really, solo. She's, she's really good, good at tap. I'm really advanced. Really? Yeah. I'm a tapper. Wow. That's Following nice. in Maddie's footsteps. Are you guys nervous for our solos? Nope. Nope. Nice. Do all three of you like your solos? Yes. So I thought mine was gonna be like a vampire because it talks about like drinking blood in my veins, like stuff like that. I think JoJo is crazy and nuts and she talks a lot and that's really difficult because she's always just loud and always giving her own opinion when sometimes we don't really need her opinion. I just want to put me a spot on the team. This is your big chance in life. Okay, we work really, really, really hard. Mm -hmm. Go out there and kill it. Yeah. Yes. This dance is totally Mackenzie, and I know Maddie's not here to help you, but I believe in you, and you are a part of this team. So whatever happens, happens, right? Yeah. yeah. And Abby's watching. Even though she's not here right now in this room, she's watching, okay? Dance for her, dance for yourself, and stare at the judges, okay? Hi, I got this. Okay. You got it. This is entry number 38. Please welcome to the stage, Electricity. This is my chance to show Abby that I can beat Mackenzie. And that's why Abby brought me here, because she knows I'm a Hollywood star.
That is entry number 38, Electricity. So you missed the first two girls. Abby, JoJo worked really hard on her solo. I really wish you could have been here. I, I really do. Super, super disappointed. Wow. Well, I can watch the tape. You got to get over it. Hey! Hello! Oh! Hello! Thank you. Hello! Good job, lover. You did it. You did it. Yay! So what did you think? I loved it. You did? I, you had a good time? I think time? I killed it. <laughs> you killed it? Yeah. Okay, well, I want you guys to make sure that you're never looking for me in the audience, because I might not be there. You think since, like, I'm your guest, like, do you, like, feel bad, like, that you didn't, like, get to see my solo? No. You are creating a monster. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And Jess is a pretty big tree. In third place, Miss JoJo, back number 38, Electricity, from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Go, JoJo! And by the way, JoJo had two more points than you had on your score. She's oh, my God. She's two years older than her. Yeah, minis and juniors are scored different. Come no, on. It's dance. JoJo, so what do you think of your mom telling Sarah that you were two points higher than her? Well, I mean, if it is the truth, I Oh, think, my god. I, I don't mind it being said. Is something wrong with saying the truth? No, we just have a code of etiquette among the team. I went and got her in the other room when your kid couldn't do the lyrical piece, period. JoJo, she's obnoxious, sometimes rude. But can she be fabulous and make everybody stand up and take notice? Yes, she can. All right, we're going to move on from the dancing because your mothers just want to flap their gums, and I really don't care what they think. So let's move on. I asked each of you to do a homework assignment. I wanted you to write about JoJo. Positive reasons why she should be a member of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Then I asked you to, on the flip side, write down reasons she should not be part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Week after week, JoJo proves that she is a tough cookie, but I think she needs somebody to be on her. So think how much more JoJo would improve. If she hears it from her peers, maybe it will have an impact. Mackenzie, would you like to share with us? Come on up here. The first reason is sometimes she's very loud. Sometimes she's off in the group dances, and sometimes she's a little too crazy. All right, what are the good things? She's kind, and she puts a lot of hard work into our dances. OK. You had some timing issues, sometimes a little too loud, but she's very dedicated and hardworking. You take opportunities from people who have been here longer. OK, and then the good things. You're nice and a team player. You lip sync when you're on stage. You respect us. Good word, respect. You're still getting used to picking up in two days, and obviously you're crazy in public. I'm really impressed how JoJo's taking this all in. It's not easy, and I respect the fact that JoJo's standing tall and taking it like a champ, just like Nia does. So, JoJo, you've wanted a permanent spot on this team since you got to Pittsburgh, but you're lucky to even be a guest here at the ALDC. However, there's a lot that makes you an ALDC dancer. You're a performer, and you're sassy. So, I'm going to give you this jacket. This is sacred, and this is for the rest of this season. This is not for all eternity, OK? You're welcome. Okay. Abby, I promise no trouble, no lawsuits, no craziness, no nothing. 
Jojo, your dance isn't truly hip hop. It has hip hop elements, it has jazz elements, it has contemporary elements. So you're gonna strip your stuff. You're fancy. 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 Ah! Come on, you're better than that. I'm so happy with the solo. I love it. Love it. It's really yeah. good. It's really Jojo. Jojo has yet to have a so so solo. What are you doing like behind our backs to get Abby to She's give all these her great... diamond rings? I think just because it's Jojo, she'll just do whatever. You know, she's not gonna take a risk on Maddie because she wants Maddie to win. You know, I think with Jojo, she's like, sure, I'll have blood on your head. No one else will let me do this. Of course, Jojo gets amazing solos, but this is Jojo's first solo as an official team member. And with us going to LA next week, I need Abby to know that she made the right decision giving Jojo that team jacket. Oh, don't let that elbow break! Strong, push! Since Maddie's not here, her, her second favorite is Kenzie. Yeah, so JoJo's sure. basically oh, going sure. head to head really with so. Kenzie. For sure. Mackenzie is her, yeah. her baby. Like, she's yes. your baby, that's her baby. Absolutely. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. So I think JoJo's toughest thing is she's going up against mm -hmm. Mackenzie, her mm -hmm. second fave. The last week before play. You need to go out there and you need to kill it. JoJo's solo this week is totally JoJo, and I think she can totally kill it. But Abby has spent so much time with Mackenzie this week, we all know that Abby thinks Mackenzie is gonna win. Girls, now, listen to me. This is our last week before we go to LA. I would like to go there on a high note. I would like to get on a plane tomorrow, victorious. That's up to you. All right, let's go. Jojo is gonna have to come out and stop traffic. That kid has to be so gorgeous and so exciting and so dynamic that she makes everybody put their pencils down and just watch her. Next to number 48, please welcome Jojo to the stage. JoJo danced really well. She was strong. She's intense. Now, comparing JoJo to Mackenzie, that's the big difference. Mackenzie is trained well, but JoJo is fancy. Will Mackenzie ever be fancy enough? Our second overall goes to. Act number 47, who are you? Mackenzie lost to JoJo, no surprise to me. JoJo is hungry. She wants it, and she's trying to prove herself to me, as well as the rest of the team. Mackenzie is a legacy. She was born into the Abby Lee Dance Company. Her sister set the path for her. She doesn't need to work that hard. Congratulations, your name, please. JoJo. I am so proud of JoJo. She finally beat Mackenzie. Abby can no longer ignore or deny JoJo's talent. When opportunity knocks, you have to be ready. That's part of your training at the Abby Lee Dance Company. So, this is your opportunity. I thought all of our soloists were going to be here, and they're not. You will be going in for Kalani. You will be going in for Kendall. Big shoes to fill. Make sure you're nice and stretched. I think we're gonna enter Nia's solo. Never knew. Okay. And probably have JoJo improv. 
It's unfortunate that Kalani and Kendall won't be here in time to do their solos. Can you get in your improv costume? But it's a great chance for Nia and JoJo to step up to the plate. These guys, understandably, are mad that the group may be scratched because the kids stayed. They love that gr the group number this week. Like, they want to do it. Like, they love it. Right now, they're representing the Abby Lee Dance Company. And since Abby Lee is not dead yet and she's still living, I'm telling them what to do. The moms don't understand. My kids had to be a jump, period. It employs some of the most knowledgeable teachers that work in the industry today. It's a big deal. This is my reputation on the line. So by them walking out the door, it's like, there you go. And that's what it's like. And they're not going to do that. I don't want to say, well, we're special, so my kids have to just leave. I understand that, but then we should have made a big effort to come here. This should have been at 6 p.m. Yes. Right. Then, well, whatever. Yeah. Like, we should not put this, all of these kids in this situation, because it's just not right. Because of Abby's mistake, now Nia and JoJo have to go against our biggest rival, Ava, totally unprepared and unsupported by their teammates. It's not fair. Okay, can I, can I judge? Can I judge? If she's gonna do it full out, you can judge. If she's just gonna mark it, no. Well, you should say thank you, yes, Abby, so that we could get the correction. Because she might not do the same thing the next time when she does it full out. So I'm trying to correct her on technical things. You need to be more open-minded, Jess. Abby has no business correcting JoJo. She should be thanking her lucky stars. I'm even letting JoJo do this improv solo. Sickle foot. Close your ribs, close your ribs, close your ribs. Right, much better. Don't sit back in your supporting heel. She can't do that. All right, so who's the soloist? Where's your soloist? Are you getting ready to be a soloist? Hopefully. Really? You mean she's going to bless you with something? Where's Always does. May I please show Yeah, Absolutely. Oh, and Nia, too. Oh, Abby, how generous of you to give Nia something. Of course, then it's probably because you know that her video was glorious and you can't have any credit except for that fake smile that you do. Good luck, Nia. And you too, JoJo. Sorry, Nia. Keep that hip down and under on that fan. Don't let your hip lift up. Slow and confident. The longer you are on stage, the better it looks. All right, girls, let's go. Why does Kathy know our business? Kathy, for whatever reason, she was talking as a mother, and she was looking at how Nia is treated. It's wrong. We didn't exclude her. Abby didn't exclude her. The only people Abby care about are sitting right there. That's, I disagree. She just gave your two kids solos. There's no one else on the team! Holly, why can't you just admit Abby just gave your kid a solo? Then there's no one else here. Who's going to get the empty chair? Empty chair. Do a solo. My gosh, there's no one else left on the team today. I thought JoJo's dance with a straight jacket was her toughest dance. But considering she is being put in at the last second, improvising against Ava, who totally nailed it, I don't know if JoJo can pull this off. in a hard place. Luckily, JoJo and Nia did a great job with their solos. But I'm worried about the group number. Well, I thought JoJo did amazing. Thank 
you. Uh, improv is one of my things. No, I think it was good. I think you got to be yourself today. That was nice. And I liked it. And for your two girls to go out there really, I don't want to say they weren't prepared because right, they, they really didn't weren't. look not prepared, but they, they weren't, weren't prepared. <laughs> you couldn't tell. In third place. Is electricity, JoJo. JoJo is in the top three with an improv solo. It is time that Abby Lee Miller starts to be impressed with JoJo. Do the face now, get into character. Be method dancers. Kendall and JoJo's duet has a Freaky Friday theme. They switch personalities and act like one another. Grab it and then turn around yourself. Right. Turn, 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 turn. Kendall looks like JoJo today. That's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, oh, I have this really big bow. And I'm like, oh my god, you can wear your lame. Pass me a bagel. <laughs> All right, come on. Shh, come on. Let's go. Oh, it is cold. Oh, my God. It's like a jack in the box. Uh oh. Uh, moms, you weren't supposed to do that. Do you want to be on this team? I want to be on your yeah, team. Yeah, OK. Do you want to be, be on, on this team, team, Renee? Yeah, yeah. OK. Of course so, they want to uh, be on this team. They're not on your team. Just goes to show you make mistakes. Kathy, she has to be an idiot if she thinks that this new team is going to be loyal to her. These girls are so desperate to be on my team, they would come running to me at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Do you guys want to touch JoJo's jacket? It might be the closest she'll oh, ever get to an Abby Lee jacket. <laughs> Your daughter will and never be a star. star. You dream of being on. Actually, I'm... no. I don't want to be on your team. You I'm team here with Kathy's team. Right. right. That's why you were at the audition? Right. OK. OK. These candy apple moms want to prove that they're better than the ALDC, but you're not. I mean, if you were, you would be where we are. role play and act like JoJo. She's got to prove to Abby that she can act and that Maddie is not the only one. Easy. Kendall and JoJo's duet is cute. I think they're adorable. Does cute win? We'll have to wait and see. How's everybody doing? All right, we're going to get right to it. The duo, trio, overall, third place. Entry. The fact that Kendall was third, I thought she was great, but she'll do better next time. I'm sure of it. Yes? My grandma is coming into town, and I don't know if you know, but she is sick. She had stage four colon cancer, and I really would like to dance for her, and sorry, it's just hard because she got sick, and I don't want to cry, but. Take a deep breath. I just really want to dance for her when she comes here. And I would just love to have a solo this week. Not asking to, like, give me a solo, give me a solo, but I just want to dance for her while she has the opportunity to be here. JoJo, 
I understand what you're going through, and I think it's very admirable that your grandmother flew all the way out here to California, and I would love for her to see you perform as well. So I will definitely do a solo for you. Thank you. I am beyond excited that Abby is giving JoJo a solo. I think Abby knows in her heart of hearts that it's the right thing to do. Isn't it beautiful here? Yeah. Today, JoJo and I are meeting my mom for lunch, and my mom's chemo schedule has been rearranged, so she could come here this week, and she could see JoJo dancing and see what she's been doing. This is huge for us. I'm excited for you to be here. I'm excited to be here. Do you feel good? I feel good today. <laughs> Was the flight bad? Yeah. Had a treatment, a chemo treatment. Oh. Um, so that made it worse. Yeah. I'm on a good week. I'm grateful. And I do believe I'm still lucky, though. Have to believe. Yes, you have to. Believe. It's a thing. You just you gotta do. believe. Yeah, I do. Yes. Not many people can say that they have two kinds of cancer and they're in the middle of chemo and they're going to go to California to see their yeah. granddaughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if you know, but I have a solo this week. <gasps> Thank God. But I'm not in the group dance. Oh. But at least you get to see me do I solo. I know. I can't be too picky, right? Because even if I wasn't the group dance, I'd be in the back corner, so. I don't care. I watch the back corner. <laughs> back corners are the best ones. <laughs> this is awesome that my grandma gets to watch me dance because she loves to watch dance, and she loves to watch me dance. You good? It's happy. Yeah, I'm happy, happy that you're good. I'm happy that you're good. Yeah. It's happy. I'm happy, too. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Jojo, before we start, fifth position hits fifth position. Not kind of, sort of fifth. Okay? Jojo, Jojo. Star star Jojo is dancing to a beautiful piece of lyrical music entitled, Faith is All I Need. Faith is relating to her grandmother, to keep the faith alive. What's your face doing? Jojo just is not a lyrical dancer. She doesn't have long lines. She doesn't have gorgeous feet. I hope that with this solo for her grandmother, that she really digs down deep inside and comes out with a winning number, a number that really is a tribute for her grandmother. Actually, I think it's really refreshing that Jojo's not doing like a fierce jazz dance. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm glad JoJo was able to show Abby she's more than one kind of dancer. She is. I mean, does JoJo like jazz? Is it easy for her? Is it fun? Yeah, but like, she can do this. Like, I know she can do this. I don't want to get teary-eyed or sad today, but it could be one of the last times oh, my mom sees. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it very well, realistically, you just never know, OK? So JoJo needs to give it all she's got. Let's go. Beautiful, Jojo. Thank you. It's gonna be beautiful. I need to dance with your heart today. Yeah. Okay. Dance for Grandma. Yeah. All right. So listen to me, both of you. Make me proud of you. I want to sit in that audience and say, I'm glad I chose those two kids to do solos today because they are our best representatives. They're winners, right? Okay, let's go. It's hard to know that your grandma's sick, but dancing with the ALDC has been one of my dreams. And so now that I'm here dancing with them and my grandma's here to watch, it's an even bigger dream. But I gotta go out on the dance floor and just let loose and dance with my grandma. Next up, number 19. Faith is all I need. Go, go, go! Starlight, star bright, make them realize. And though I work long and try my hardest, parts remain unfulfilled. Now I see 
Jojo was beautiful. It's been an emotional week with Jojo. There's been lots of ups and lots of downs. I was just happy to see Jojo get through the number without crying. In first place. Number 18, Secret Place. Give it up. JoJo's solo takes on a whole different meaning. It's not about the competition. It's about honoring this dear woman. And she did that. I just really wish she would have won. That would have been the icing on the cake. Let me ask you a question, JoJo. What do you think constitutes being a master teacher? Master I, teacher? Yeah, I see that you're having master classes. JoJo simply posted, come to my master class. Why does Abby care? I have no idea why Abby is bringing this up now. God forbid JoJo should interrupt precious little Maddie's solo time while she is just over in the corner practicing the only dance she has learned. I mean, come on. What do you know about being a master instructor? I really think you have to be careful with that word because a master teacher is somebody that has earned that title. No one cares. It's a time-wasting, unprofessional move. So, because some kid wants to make a quick buck on the weekend because daddy doesn't earn enough money, that's not really a master instructor. Oh, yeah. You need to end this. Nip it in the bud because it's not professional. Enough is enough already. First of all, JoJo's not teaching the class. She's in the class. It doesn't say that in your ad. It says, master class with you. So don't go out there and say you're that without having what it takes to back it up. No, it's no different than your master classes where the girls attend the class with the guests that are well, growing. Teach. You teach. I have a teacher that is teaching with JoJo. You don't include us in yours. <laughs> oh, she crying? Well, Abby started that. And, and Jess going in there didn't help, though, because now JoJo's crying. that it gets on me. <laughs> Abby pisses me off. Her whole goal was to put JoJo down and make her cry. Like, I don't know if that makes Abby feel better about herself, but it pisses me off. Just pull yourself together and go back in. You're kidding, right? She was always in a stick. Yo, she always had to pick me. Well, first of all, you're an awesome little girl. You're an awesome little talent. You're one of my favorites. I think you're good. You know, you just have your own sort of style. Yeah. And it's kind of all over the place. And then she has to yell at me. So what? She yells at everybody. Yeah, not like she yells at me, though. Maybe you're getting pushed because you are special. Focus on JoJo. And then no one can say anything, right? Right. Promise? Promise. All right. <laughs> Get a bigger bow, honey. Right? <laughs> this is a really hard week for JoJo. She's going against Maddie and Mackenzie, and I know Abby is not going to give her any extra attention. Thank God Travis is here, and he is giving JoJo some comfort and attention. JoJo, this is a jazz dance. This is the 60s. You're rebel without a cause. So it's tough and it's strong. And you have one more day to learn. JoJo has that platinum blonde hair, and she wears the biggest bow she can find. So of course she's going to get noticed first at an audition. She has this undeniable spark, but she's also a rebel. That kid has a mouth on her. I have to rein her in to keep her from embarrassing herself and embarrassing me. think for a minute that your two kids, Kenzie and JoJo, don't know that Abby expects Maddie to win with her tap and number she's known. No matter what she does in their head, they know no, Abby expects Maddie to win. I will win. tell you, I expect Maddie to win. But in the car last night, JoJo says, I actually think I have a shot at beating Maddie this week. She goes, yeah, she's doing tap. What if the judges don't like tap? Because tap is hit or miss. And I was like, well, Maddie's a good little tapper. I get that Maddie and Mackenzie are going up against each other, but what about JoJo? And what about her solo? 
I mean, JoJo would actually have a chance at winning if Abby would just give her some time. I'm a little nervous about this. JoJo's going up against the two girls that Abby loves and loves their mom and their mom backs Abby up. Now my kid has to go against that. Great. Please welcome JoJo to the stage with Rebel Without a Call. Just watching the rehearsals, it looked like you spent a lot more time on Maddie Solo, and Maddie Solo was finished. Not according to me. But it was well, further it was along than Kenzie yeah. and JoJo. My kids have been here since they've been three years old. Kenzie has been two. I think they rate a little higher on the, the, the ladder than Jess's daughter does. I think you have different level of commitment to different kids. Right. I think when it comes to Maddie, you're, you're 10 plus. When it comes to like someone like JoJo, I don't even know. What would you say on a scale of one to 10? How much are you committed to JoJo? Do you care about her? As a child, do I care about her? Yes, as absolutely. As a dancer. As a dancer. Dancers come and go. It's a revolving door. Wow. So clearly I didn't give her enough options. I should have been on a scale of negative 10,000 to positive 10. How much do you like JoJo? Because maybe there would have been an answer in there. Like, seriously. JoJo danced great. I mean, do I think that JoJo was confident in the solo and prepared realistically? No. This was kind of a bust. So JoJo, you're absolutely bonkers. Well, I've never put on a straight jacket. You're dangerous. You set the tone for the piece. Good luck. There you go. Let's see. You need to struggle. There needs to be like a zoom and a zoom and a count of one. It's time for JoJo to straighten up. So why not put her in a straight jacket? She's loud and she's big and she's blonde. So I want to rein her in and work on her technique. Flex that foot harder. You're dropping on your heel. Watch your posture, JoJo. Finish your movement. Gianna Kalani should be the one doing the solo. Get your act together. You don't have your act together. You're just sloughing through things. Your leg has to get up and down that fast. Like, it has to work. And all these faces you're doing, you're not focusing on the three people judging. Your head's all over the place. This is a very important routine. It can be make it or break it. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, seriously, Abby, you put JoJo in a straight jacket. This is one of the hardest routines JoJo's ever had. Why don't you try dancing without your arms? Hey, hey. Hi, Hi girls. Hey. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. Girls, come on, let's go. This is our last week in LA. I have told you and told you and told you a hundred times how important it is. JoJo, it's a tough number to get through. You have to breathe correctly. It's not about a darling face. It's the contemporary stuff. It's the technique. It's getting that hip down and that leg turned out. 
Kendall, you are a recording artist. Your dancing is what put you on the map. Now you're here. You need to win. OK, one last thing. Remember, kids are judging you. So go out there and win. Do it. Please welcome JoJo to the stage with Straighten Up. This dance is a huge challenge for JoJo. Not being able to use your arms, you got to have a strong center. JoJo, you have got to nail this. Amazing. I think I've done enough to win. And first overall. Oh my god. Lord only knows what Abby would do if Kendall lost to JoJo. Close to act number 54, untouchable. I don't ever think of it. You know, JoJo danced really good today. I mean, you go into awards with certain expectations, and when you don't even place in the top five, you're like completely blown away. I don't think these kids that are judging know talent when they see it. Jojo, it's OK, honey. It's okay. You danced good. No one can it's take so that away. You good. You did good. I have to remind my students, I think students are sometimes harsher on their peers than teachers. Abby, she's going to dance. No. No. She's going to dance. She's going to dance. I know. I disappointed her. Uh, uh, no, you didn't. You danced good. But you danced but honey, good. You just didn't yes. score well. She's not going to be upset. It's our last week in LA. The group won. We have the overall high score. However, we didn't have top solo in any age group. Do I expect more? Yes. Everybody can have an off day, but you don't have an off day when we're leaving LA. You want to leave on a high note. JoJo, I like the routine. I thought it was wonderful, and I thought she did a great job. So my opinion differs from those three judges on that. My next duet is kind of on the other end of the pyramid here. It's JoJo and Kendall. Yay! JoJo and Kendall were my two lowest ranking soloists last week because their technique is just not up to par. I'm giving the two of them something we rarely do in competition because it's about challenging these kids to push themselves every weekend for a competition. So the two of you, you are doing a ballet routine. It will be in the ballet category. However, it's a contemporary ballet. We never do ballet routines, ever. We are now. It's entitled Push and Pull. Cool. I'm literally freaking out. Like, I'm not really like the ballet technique type. Like, my legs and feet, they're good, but they're not perfect. And so jazz is like really my thing. I have to just work really hard on my technique. I really have to nail it. All right. You two both know Daniel? Yes? Daniel is one of our 
wonderful, accomplished ballet instructors. So this week, he has been assisting with the choreography, and I think he's gonna whip these two into shape. So, you both had solos this past week. Unfortunately, they didn't score so well. So thank you for jumping in and helping out. The girls need to work with other people as well. Here we are in LA and we have all these people and it's good. So you two are doing contemporary ballet routine. We haven't done really that with the Ivy Lee Dance Company at competition. So I think this is good for you. Uh, everybody needs more ballet, okay? My elite girls have not been winning. And even when they do win, I don't think their technique is up to snuff. It's high time these girls realize how important their training is. One, throw a bar on the side, two, and then we go again to shift forward, three, four. Well, we're starting our duo. Our ballet duo. When's the last time we've ever had a Never. specialty Never. duo? Never. Well, ballet, our kids are not, this isn't a ballet school. And then we want to jump over this like a rebel car. Sure. As we're learning our choreography, I can just tell by the look on JoJo's face that JoJo doesn't really like this dance. But I'm a little nervous because it's ballet, and I'm just going to say this, we're not the best at ballet, so it's going to be a rough week. This seems weird. Come on, JoJo. Should have had the other dance. This won't be bad, but it won't score well. Not it won't be. Well. It's not a winning number. They're going to rip them apart. This is so frustrating. You know what, Abby? Choreograph a dance that makes her look good. It's not rocket science, it's dance choreography. I mean, if we look bad on stage, I care. JoJo's gonna be the next big thing. Her music video's out, her song is out. There's so much other stuff coming out. Like, JoJo is branding herself. Honestly, JoJo has a lot to lose. Like, I don't need Abby bringing us down. Give her a ballet dance? Are you kidding me? It's a joke. Well, none of our girls are ballerina. It's none of our girls' thing. Didn't Nia have a dance that you were super against? Like, was it a dog collar? What was Tons it? Tons of them. Name, you name it, I was against it. I mean, there's certain things as a parent you do have to stand up. The joke. Three, four, and five, six, seven, chasse, and up. This is bad. This is not even kind of good. This is bad. I don't think Abby realizes who JoJo really is and what her potential is as a dancer. If JoJo's only shot of winning this week is on technique, it's not going to happen. I certainly did not give up everything for Abby to make JoJo look bad. It needs a lot of work, but it looked good. Just have confidence and think. If there's one thing you guys can think, just be super clear about where you're ending and where you're starting from. Yeah, because that's the bits that kind of get really fundamentally wrong for me. Yeah, for you especially. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. I think Nia and Bryn have a really good chance going up against JoJo and Kendall because Kendall and JoJo have never had a ballet duet. And in all honesty, JoJo's ballet is not her strong suit. And I think JoJo would probably agree with that. How is the duo? I think it's going to be good for you. You're not doing it. No. Hi. Oh, JoJo. Go take a moment. Go get some air. Stop. Honey, stop. Anybody else wants to do it, they can have it. This, this is not what's going to happen. What? We're not doing the duel. I'm JoJo's not doing the duel. Settled. Why? Why is she crying about a dance? Because she thinks she's going to look in a terrible fifth position. on stage. She didn't look bad at all. A million people. Just a solution for everything is to just pull JoJo out. She never forces JoJo to do anything outside her comfort zone. No wonder JoJo's not getting any better, because Jess pulls her the minute something is hard. It's stupid! You're making them look well, stupid! You're not doing it. This is settled. It's done. You're not doing it. No one can make you dance. You can go stand on stage. They play the music. Wow. I have the worst luck with duos. You portray a prom queen. It's going to be really rough. It's crazy. And it's actually based on the movie Carrie. You have to watch the movie to see, really. So every one of your actions is causing something to happen. So you're causing all this chaos, kind of like you cause when you walk into a room. It's just chaos. JoJo, she needs to watch the movie. 
If she doesn't watch the movie, she's never gonna get that Carrie was vulnerable. People made fun of her. It's a whole metamorphosis of emotion. Right now, she's not getting the story. But like, hit hit somebody, like there's the principal in the corner and you're gonna take him out. Shh, down, step, and that's your turn. Well, I think JoJo's been really lucky in that she comes, she gets all these solos, she gets what she does best because when she was given a lyrical solo, Abby didn't like it, she couldn't do it, so she gave her something she could do. I think it'll be a good week for JoJo. Yeah, I wouldn't be too sure about that. It was a good day yesterday. Why was it a good day yesterday? It was an awful day yesterday. It didn't affect me. Holly's problems don't affect me. I think it's awful. I would never wish that upon anybody to take, especially not Nia. I'm not the child. one that opened my mouth and yelled at Abby yesterday. JoJo's dying to be on this team. She's worked so hard, and this week is her chance to show that she is useful and she can save this team. I'm sorry these moms are attached to Holly, but JoJo deserves this opportunity. Ready? Yeah. It's your chance to dance I'm this so week. Excited. Good. All right. Finally, I get dance. Just, I can do it just be yourself. Don't hold back. Yes. Listen to your music. And do dance. what they told you to do and dance. Yeah. This is JoJo's week to shine. I am ready to be. <laughs> it's too bad she has to do it covered up in blood. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Next to Kendall in that beautiful Bollywood costume. You're not psycho enough. Did you watch the movie? Why? I can't believe you're doing a dance about a movie and you don't watch the movie. I explained it to her. I, I know, told but her no, it was explaining about. something and seeing John Travolta drop pig's blood on Sissy Spacek is completely different. We just didn't have time. I, we watched the trailer. I told her what it was about. Didn't have time. While you're getting hair treatments for lice for 14 hours a day, you didn't have, couldn't put it in front of her on a laptop? That should have been the priority. Next up, entry number 65, preteen solo contemporary prom queen. Let's go! she danced, she didn't take us on this emotional roller coaster. That's what I wanted to feel like when she was on stage. Like, she was Carrie. I never saw any of that. Probably because she never watched the movie. So let's start the adjudicated awards. We have the preteen solo category. In fifth place, entry number 65, Tom. Next we have JoJo. You were fifth in the competition. You're fifth on the pyramid. Sometimes you act like a five-year-old. Maybe five is your lucky number, or not so lucky number. She did a good job last week. She did a solo, you poured blood on her, you put a four-inch crown on her head. She did a good job. Keep telling her. She Keep did telling a good her. job. She did a good job. Keep telling I'm her. I'm telling you. You should have watched the movie. When you're given an assignment, you do it. When I'm in a hotel room in a scary movie, just... No, we're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna have her be scared for the next six months because she watched the movie you wanted her to watch. Like, we did the dance. We watched the trailer. I told her what it was about. You didn't change your emotion. You, were, you had one look on your face the entire time. It was good. She was possessed. It was good. Well, if you're so good, you don't really need to be a part of the Abby the Dance Company. Can 
put her picture back up? She deserves to be on the pyramid. She was in the group dance. She deserves nothing. Don't have an attitude that you are entitled in this world. You are not. You deserve nothing else. You earn it. You can't stand here and cry. I will no, 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 no crying children. Not. Well, if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Get out. Let's go. go. Let's get go. go. Let's go. I'm going home right now. Our kid would never do that. See, this is where I think the mothers are absolutely ridiculous. Jess has no idea that I already have music selected, a costume chosen, and choreography in mind for JoJo to do with Mackenzie. But no, she's gonna cause all this chaos. I don't wanna stay, but I don't wanna be treated like this. I think it's, it's just better. her. It's just her. It's just her. It's just me. She's just a jerk. Why'd she just tell me to get out? Because you talked back to her. Oh, so she's a baby? She can't handle me talking? Over no, because her kids don't talk. If you yell at any of those kids, they're gonna cry. They're gonna cry. I hate the way that Abby is treating JoJo, but I know this is a great opportunity for JoJo, and I want her to be on the team, and I want her to go back to Pittsburgh with Abby. Just say you're sorry. But why should I say sorry? Because you're a bigger person than she is. I know you didn't win your division, obviously, but something happened. You're back? Yeah. Why? And I'm sorry that I didn't taking the high road. Not only are we competing in our own backyard, but I've also invited JoJo here. Who would have thought JoJo on the ALDC would become this huge star? And Abby always yelled at her a lot, and Abby also yells at me a lot, so I'm in the same shoes that JoJo was in. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a picture, right? Yeah. JoJo is coming to inspire our soloists because this is kind of where it all started for her. The solos are JoJo solos, but they're not just solos the way JoJo did them. They're JoJo solos on crack. Oh, God. <laughs> I have lots of successful students, but JoJo, she has the it factor. She is the name. You cannot walk into any store in any mall in the United States of America without seeing JoJo's face somewhere. She remembers where she got her start, and I'm thrilled because JoJo's gonna be here. We're gonna do solos that she kind of made famous, and now these kids have to step into her shoes, and they're gonna have to do better than JoJo did. Eliana will be performing a solo. And Lily will be performing a solo. Are you kidding me? This is the first time Lily and Ellie are going against each other in two years. And JoJo's going to be there with her own eyes looking at a solo that she's done before. The pressure is on. Hi. 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 Welcome. You can say hello, guys. How are you guys? Good. How are I'm you? I'm so excited to see you. Hi. Welcome back. Thank well, you for thank coming. Thank you. JoJo wanted to come too, but she booked a last minute job, so she can't come. I'm so sorry, sorry, but I couldn't let you down. So I wanted to come and just support you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I've invited JoJo to Pittsburgh because I want these kids to see what it takes to be a star. Who knows? Any one of them could be the next JoJo. So good to see you. I think Jean's crying. Are you crying? Why are you crying? Everybody knows I love JoJo. I said that multiple times. I love JoJo. JoJo see what inspires me, and I love her. JoJo is my biggest inspiration. JoJo is amazing. JoJo, 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 JoJo. Okay, JoJo. I heard you all have some fun solos this week. Did you torture them with my solos? See, when you leave the team and you come back, you're not scared of Abby anymore. And it's really fun. OK, we got to dance. We got to dance. We got to dance. I want to see dances. I want to see it. All right, you're going to stay here, and you're going to give corrections. Sounds fun. It's fun to be on this side of things. Yes. I like it. All right, go. These kids are probably, like, dying on the inside They're right probably now. Like, so excited. They're like, we're performing for JoJo. 
Abby was really, really hard on JoJo when she was on the team. Yeah. And like where she is now. Right. Oh my God. Yes, hello, hello girl. girl. Hello. Hi. Well, good to see you too. You look amazing, come join Thank us. Thank you. Lily, go ahead. How's it going? Well, Stacey has just nonstop complained that she only has half a body, that she can only use her legs. Yesterday, Yolanda was super upset over the solo. She was crying. So do you guys complain about every, every solo day. you get, or just this week? Comments, Jojo? I think it looks really good. When the music escalates, you have to escalate with your body and your arms. This needs to be so big and so over-exaggerated. All right, you go breathe, Eliana. So I'm confused. So you left by choice or by not choice? By not choice. By not choice. But now you're, you're back. Stacy yeah. chased her out. If I could chase people out, Yolanda, you wouldn't be here. It feels to me like there's a lot of like legit hate in the room. Well, if you knew the history, I don't know what happened. And like that makes you look rude. Stacey, you're not that big. You're not that important. No one cares. Why do you act like that? It's just so weird to me. Like, I can't believe you guys let that happen. Arms, arms, stop marking things and dance. It's tomorrow. Talk about painful. She's not any better as a dancer. Take a second. Can I tell you something? You're dancing like you're really nervous. Like, I know how it feels. It's hard. It's hard. Take all your anger and all your stress and all your sadness out on your dance. I don't even know how to explain to you how good you are. Go out there and kill it, quite literally. <laughs> yeah. Jojo was so supportive and so encouraging, but when she doesn't have her teacher who she dropped everything for, 100% behind her, that's what hurts, and that's what I think is killing Eliana. You're, you're incredible. You can kill Thank it. Thank you. You're amazing, little kiddo. Thank you. All right, Eliana, I watched an old solo that you did last night, and it was amazing. It was two years ago, and you're doing the same stuff like the same way. It should be way beyond that now. Now, you want to go to premieres, and you want to perform, and your interests change. And you need to get back to the basics, and you need to work on that technique again. I don't still feel that Abby has really thoroughly accepted you back yet. I feel like she used to like me more than she does now. That's hard. That's hard for me as a parent. Eliana, let's get over here because I have to pour that pig's blood all over you. I want to help. All right, here we go with the blood. There's no turning back. Shut your mouth and close your eyes. It's coming, it's coming. Tip your head back a little bit. Beautiful. That's good. I think we're good. All right, there is a lot at stake. We haven't competed in Pittsburgh in years. JoJo is here. You're doing JoJo solos. Be amazing. Carrie. It's obvious. Don't make it small. Make it bigger than life. Lily, you've escaped from a sane asylum. That's somebody dark and evil inside of you coming out. Do you understand that? You want to have good legs and feet. But for your future, you want to have it all. You want to be the full package. It's who is going to have that performance factor that's going to come out on top. Well, next up is Lily doing straight escape. I'm very, 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 very nervous because I don't have arms. There's like a lot more things that Ellie can do that I can't do with no arms. I feel like I'm just a lot more nervous than usual.
Next up, this is Ellie and Curry. distract me at all. I actually didn't even notice it was there. I'm just glad I'm so relieved now, and I think it really paid off. It was really cool to see you recreate my dances. I think Ellie, you did Carrie phenomenal. I think Lily, it was incredible. And I'm really happy. You guys made me proud. Here we go. Top Junior Solos. You did everything that you were asked to do. It all depends on what the judge is like. So I'm pretty nervous, but I feel like it's out of my hands. The third highest score. Carrie, Eliana, Abby Lee. I am upset that I didn't win. I should have been second or even first. So I'm a little scared because I'm just imagining what Miss Abby is going to say. The second highest score. Suspend Allie from Elite Dance by Damien. Eliana was third, and I watched Eliana, and Eliana was good. So right now I'm worried that I didn't place at all. Great. Now, our first and our highest score with a score of 300 points. That was a perfect score. does not happen often. It's insane. What? I got first place. I got a perfect score, a 300. And it feels really good to be in that perfect score club. Feels pretty freaking cool. Eliana, you were third. When you were on the team before, you were threatening kids that were 14 and 15 years old. You were a huge threat to them. OK, let's go ahead and stop perseverating in the past. And you know what? It would have been nice if you would have been invested in my daughter unless you were invested in her. Ooh. Walk. Walk. Now. Lily beat the crap out of your kid time and time and time again. And since then, she's gone downhill, and you know it. Really? You know what? It's my You're just mad you didn't win today. It's my daughter. That's that. mine. You're just mad no. you didn't win. It's my you can't daughter. Yeah, well, you can't handle it. You can't handle it. My kid's the best dancer in America. Your kid got third place. That's what your kid got. You guys need to take care of your kids. And like the people that came before you built a huge legacy. I think the world is waiting. They want it to fail. There's no reason for it to fail. Carry the legacy on.